The Linwood Ceiling System creates a beautiful and long-lasting ceiling that's fast and easy to install on heavy-duty T-bar grids. Begin by measuring and marking the width of the first plank at each end. Then snap a chalk line on those marks. If you have a slanted ceiling, mark an intersecting line with a level. Using a speed or rafter square, measure the grid angle from the level line. Here it's 8 degrees. Set your chop saw for an appropriate angle cut. With a finish grade carbide tip saw blade, cut the end plank. On the opposite plank end, insert two dowels into the pre-drilled guide holes. Place the first plank at the required expansion gap from the end wall, here it's 1 8 inch, and clamp the plank into place. Double check the expansion gap measurement. Then screw the plank to the grid from above with wood screws. This is necessary for the beginning plank row, any place where the mounting clips won't fit, and every tenth row to avoid creep from one end to the other. Place the next plank in the row, aligning the dowels and end holes. Make sure they're tight, then screw this plank to the grid with a pair of screws at each cross T. Where plank ends meet, screw both sides to the T. Measure and cut the last plank, allowing for the end expansion gap, then clamp and screw it in place. Add the mounting clips for the next row of planks. These clips hold the planks and set the side reveal width. Place the clips for both sides of the plank row. Then measure the first plank length to the center of the appropriate cross T. Cut the plank at the wall end and place it at the expansion gap. Slide the middle mounting clip against the plank Check that the dowel end of the plank is centered in the cross T and slide the remaining clips against the plank. Once the clip is tight against the plank, squeeze the top part inward to set the clip in position. Measure the end plank, allowing for the end gap. Then cut the plank at the appropriate angle, place it for the correct expansion gap, and slide the clips in place. Be sure to check that the dowel joint is tight before squeezing the end clips in position. When both rows have been installed, the filler strip can be run into the plank's side grooves. Once the roll has been properly started, the strip can be pulled the length of the entire row, with one person feeding from the roll and the other pulling. When the row has been filled, mark the end point, gently pull out the tail end, and cut the filler at the mark with sharp scissors. Then carefully retuck the cut end of the filler strip into the end grooves. The result is a smooth, clean look for the installed rows. Continue to measure and cut the next planks for the rows that follow, setting the mounting clips on the grid as the rows progress. The end plank in each row will vary in length, and if the piece is too short for clips, it will require screws. After clamping it in place, screw it into the end grid with the appropriate gap. After the second screw is installed, don't forget, remove the clamp. As each row is completed, add the filler strip. It's easier to do this row by row than to go back and add the filler strips later. For better sounding rooms, add the recycled cotton sound absorber layer on top of the planks as the ceiling is installed. Again, it's easier to add it every few rows than to try adding it later. Then continue to add the rows of mounting clips and planks. When the reveal space between rows of planks coincides with the T-bar, screw in the end of the next plank, then use the direct attach clips that screw directly into the T-bar to hold the planks in place. The difference between the two types of clips is shown here. These exclusive clips are a big part of Linwood's fast and easy installation. For lighting unit holes, measure the diameter, set the compass for half the diameter, scribe the circle, cut out the cardboard template, then check the template diameter. Measure the distance to the center of the unit from the nearest wall, and note the spacing of the unit to the reveal. Mark the plank at the measured distance from the wall and spacing to the reveal. Use a second plank and clips to level the template, then transfer the shape to the back of the plank. With a jigsaw, cut the plank at the mark. Place the first section of cut plank against the unit and clip it into the grid. Then check the second cut section. Because it's too short to span to a cross T, a bridging board is needed and must be pre-drilled and pre-attached to the short section. 
Using a mounting clip held in place, fit the plank into position and screw it to the adjacent plank from above the grid. Now measure for the next plank to be cut. Using the same method, mark and jigsaw the plank and carefully fit it in place using mounting clips. Attach the previously installed bridging boards with wood screws to this plank on each side of the unit. Continue installing the next row. Then run the filler strip between the rows of planks, cutting it off at each lighting unit. Continue until the row is finished by trimming off the filler at the last unit in the row. By measuring and cutting carefully and repeating these steps as needed, the Linwood ceiling installation will go smoothly and look beautiful for many, many years.